Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Matt Scholar and I'm the single chef. I'm your classic single guy. I've got the single guy fridge, single guy ingredients. But the thing is, I've learned over the years to take this simple stuff here and make something that tastes great. And that's what I'm going to show you guys how to do right now. I'm going to make it so simple that not even you mess it up. But don't take my word for it. i got my good friend here, Lily. Who's Hello, Lily. How are you doing hey, today? Hey, Matt. I'm great. How are you doing? Well, I'm doing pretty good. Good. So today, Lily, we're going to uh, cook up something sort of on the healthy side. Great. We'll do some tilapia fillets. And I'm going to do some sautéed string beans. And what I'm going to start with first, guys, is our 10 basic single chef ingredients. As always, we've got our Worcestershire sauce, our soy sauce. We've got ketchup and mustard. I've got some cooking oil. We've got our trusty hot sauce. Of course, we've got our garlic powder. And you can't go without salt and pepper. And our secret ingredient, we got Thousand Island dressing, which we're going to be using today. Now, over here, guys, is what I shop for for our single chef meal tonight, and that is simply tilapia fillets. If you're not familiar with it, it's a very delicate, very tasty white fish. Very inexpensive. I got about four fillets here, and I've got my string beans. And our other ingredients we're going to use, I have an, I'm going to use some eggs and some breadcrumbs, and that's about it. Now the first thing I want to do with the string beans is I want to get these going first. So what I'm going to do is I have a pot of water here that's not quite boiling, but it's very hot. So I'm going to blanch these string beans. So just drop them in the pot. And basically what blanching means is you're just getting them soft. Because obviously a string bean on its own is very crunchy, it's very hard. I don't like to blanch them too long, but just to soften them up a little bit. So when I toss it in the uh, saute pan, it's already a little softened and it's going to taste phenomenal. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to unwrap my tilapia. And as I do that, Lily. Yes. How you doing? I'm doing great. Good. So Looking forward to this. Are you? Yeah. When's the last time you had a good piece of fish? It's been a while, actually. Right on. Yeah. Well, as a Southern California gal, yeah. there's obviously a lot of good restaurants out here. Mm -hmm. um, do you have places that you go to for seafood or for fish? There is one place in particular that I crave. Really? Yeah. What's that? Yeah, yeah. It's a place called Fish Grill, actually. Ah, okay. Uh, over in West Hollywood. Cool. And they make killer fish tacos. Fish tacos? Oh, but they make everything, I mean, grilled fillets, anything. They rock it out? Awesome. Actually, fish tacos is one thing. I mean, I'll cook that in one of our upcoming shows. So right now, I'm just taking a couple eggs and I'm cracking them in our bowl here because we're going to bread these tilapia fillets. Oops, got a little shell in there. You don't want to do that. Otherwise, you'll be single for too long. All right, so I'm just taking these eggs, and I'm going to whisk them up just like that. And you just want to make sure that you break the yolk and mix the, you know, the yolk and the egg white so you have it nice and uniform like that. OK. I'm going to take the. Uh, bread crumbs and I'm just going to pour them out on a plate. You can use a bowl, you can use a plate, whatever you like. For my purposes right now I'm using a plate and I'm just going to fill that plate up with bread crumbs. Now I have a pan over here that is sitting on the uh, this thing and we're going to pour some oil into that, get that hot. Okay, I'm just going to pour that around a little bit so we get that pan hot. And we're going to take, have you ever made this at home before? No. Cool, so I'm going to teach you a little bit about how Good. to make it. And it's like, it, this is so simple, guys. Like, really, I, I try to keep it as simple as possible, like I mentioned. All you're doing is rubbing it in the, in the egg wash, okay? I'm just going to let the excess egg drip off. Okay. And then cool. we're just going to put it in our breadcrumbs like this. Cool. And just... You know, you just want to flop it around. You can shake the plate up a little bit, just kind of get some, some of the, um, the breadcrumbs on there. It doesn't have to be, you know, a thick coating, just a light coating for our purposes. And then we'll put the other one there and just do that again. We're going to do that four times. So the egg wash into our plate of breadcrumbs. Real simple. Flip it over a couple times. Excess breadcrumbs, boom, on the plate. One, two, this is Looks our third fun. one. Yeah, you know what? Seriously, cooking for me, it's yeah. like, it's very, I don't know, I want to say therapeutic or meditating yeah. or, you know, I like to kick on some music. Nice. You know, perhaps I have a glass of wine or a beer. 
like um, and just kind of let my mind take away from everyday stresses of life. For me, that's what it does anyway. And that's one of the reasons why, you know, I love to cook. Also because I love food. <laughs> you know. It's a good reason. It's a good reason. I like to experiment in the kitchen. And this is something I actually just started experimenting with a couple years ago in my apartment in New York. I bought some tilapia fillets and I never ever tried to do a breaded uh, tilapia fillet before. I was like, you know what, let me just get some breadcrumbs. Let me get some egg out and see what we can do with this. And it actually came out really good. So now this is one of our recipes. Cool. Okay, so I'm putting that aside. My hands are all filthy, so I'm just going to wash that for a minute. Now I'm going to start it here on the hot plate, but actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer it over to the hot stove over here. So let me make sure that's on nice and hot, which it is. And I'm just going to drop them in here. Unfortunately, with this hot plate, it doesn't get hot enough, so we'll use the stove, the oven. But for, for blanching the string beans, perfect. You don't really want them to boil. You just kind of want a hot, you know, some really hot water. It doesn't have to be boiling. I'm going to push this over here. And in a minute or two, that will be sizzling. So we just want to get rid of any excess junk we don't need on the, on the table. I'm going to take a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and a little bit of garlic powder, and I'm just going to throw that over the fish. Fish cooks pretty quickly, doesn't it? Generally, yeah. I mean, one thing I realized, you know, a lot of people who cook overcook fish. Yeah. I understand you want your fish to be cooked. You definitely don't want to undercook it. But really, I mean, for, for our purposes, all we need here is just like about two or three minutes on each side. Make sure it's nice and golden brown because the center will cook fast. Mm -hmm. If you overcook it, it totally dries out. And then it's kind of gross. Yeah. Kind of gnarly and gross. <laughs> all right, so we got our salt and pepper over there. What I'm going to do is check on, let me just check on these string beans real quick and see how they are. Just gonna fish one out and kind of test the consistency of it. Ah, we need another minute. While that's happening, <laughs> excuse me, I'm gonna crunch up some garlic like we did last time. And take our clove, take our knife, and just nice little firm chop. And we've got a garlic clove. Just whoops, skin comes right off when you do that. Saves you a lot of time in the kitchen. And it's nice to have a little garlic. You don't want to overdo it. Because correct me if I'm wrong, Lily. But if you ever kiss a guy with, like, garlic breath. I'll go home. Really? <laughs> Simple as that. Simple as that. It's happened before. <laughs> <laughs> How did you get out of it? Like, what, what did you do? What was, your, what was your tactic? So we guys can learn from this. Oh, there was no tactic involved. <laughs> no? It was just, I went home. <laughs> did you tell the guy that he had garlic breath? Mm-hmm. Was it the first date? I mean, what was, no, the, what was the setup on that? No, as a matter of fact, it was a... Uh, oh, by the way, I'm just cutting up the garlic while you talk. Okay. Cut away. <laughs> uh, no, it was actually a few months in. Okay. And we went out for some um, Zanku chicken, which, if you've never had it, it is amazing, but super heavy on the garlic. What, what, what kind of chicken? Zanku chicken. Zanku chicken. Yeah. Is that, I've never heard of it. It's a, it's a little chain out here in LA. Okay. Delicious. So it's, so it's heavy on the heavy on the garlic. Heavy on the garlic. Gotcha. Like, uh, I think we each brushed our teeth about ten times after dinner, <laughs> and I still had to go home. <laughs> That's awesome. Or well, maybe not awesome for him. <laughs> so after dinner, you know, you, you guys you guys have been dating for a while. You said. Yeah. All right. You guys went for it. You're doing a little kissing. Just didn't work out that way. Gotcha. That night. Well, that happens, guys. Just make sure you bring some Listerine or something along <laughs> to, to mask that. All right, so I'm thinking here are, are already, wow, I might have even, might have put them on, might have kept them on too long, but they're still fine. You can see how they're nice and crisp there. And we're just going to cook the other side pretty much. Ooh, they got a little crispy. Got a little crispy, but that's okay. That's how quick these things cook. I also have it on a really high, really high flame. I'm going to turn it down just a little bit. I'm also going to add just a drop more oil because it's starting to, uh, the oil's already evaporated. I'm just going to put a little bit more in there, not too much, just to coat up the bottom of our fish. There we go. And as you can see on camera there, that, that fish is cooking really nicely. I'm just going to do a little more salt and pepper on the flip side. And again, I as a single chef just kind of do it to taste, to feeling, right? So I kind of just stop when I feel it. 
that's the way I like to cook. I don't like to think too much about it. I just kind of like to do it. You know what I mean? It's all about the feeling. It's all feeling. So I have my string beans here. I mean, sorry, I have my garlic here. I'm going to take the string beans out of the water. And let me, let me just check my mic here for a second. Is that better? Okay. See, we're a live TV here, guys. We've got to roll with the punches. Um, I'm going to take my string beans out of the water, and I'm going to use my strainer. I have a strainer here, and I'm just going to strain the water. And spill the water all over the counter. <laughs> okay, so I've got my string beans here. Now, what I'm going to do, since I have my fish cooking there, actually, you know, again, we improv here in the single chef. This is what I'm going to do. Since these tilapia fillets are almost ready, I'm just going to let them cook for another minute. And then I'm going to take the fish off, and I'll put our string beans in that pan so it'll give some of the fish oil. And we'll put our, our garlic in there and a little soy sauce. Have a little sauteed string beans. It's going to be really good. Delicious. In fact, let me test one of these fillets right here. Because I think, yeah. You can tell they're ready when they just sort of flaking apart, which this piece did here. Yeah. I don't know if you can tell, guys, but this piece here just sort of fell apart. That's when they're ready, guys. That's it. Real simple. I'm just going to put them on the cutting board. And we've got four tilapia fillets good to go. We'll let those sit for a minute so they don't, uh, so they cool down just a minute because they're very hot. Now, I'm going to take a little more oil. And this is going to be for our string beans. And let me show you how this is done, guys. I'm just going to coat that pan again. Not too much, a little more, OK? I'm going to throw my garlic in right there. Still hot from, uh, from cooking the fish. I'm just going to wash that around a little bit like that. And string beans in. OK, now you can hear that. Now that's sizzling. We're going to go put that on the oven. And this is sort of a stir fry thing, so you just want to mix it up. I'm going to throw on a little bit more garlic, a little salt and pepper. This is going to just give it a little boost of flavor. It's going to make it pop. That's for my homie back in New York. Make that pop. Okay, a little salt. Just a little bit, not too much. And actually, I'm going to skip the pepper. I'm just going to do a little salt. Secret, little secret hot sauce, guys. Oh, I got some pepper up my nose. I might sneeze. If I do, I'll make sure not to do it on the food. All right. Little hot sauce, boom. Now, I'm going to take a mix of Worcestershire and soy. These are our 10 single chef ingredients. Got to use these things, guys. This is all you really need. See that? Let's get our string beans nice and cooking. Smells great. You can smell it? Yeah. Good. Put a little bit of Worcestershire, but mostly I'm going to put a lot of, like, a decent amount of soy. Because the soy, the garlic, and the ginger mm -hmm. is really going to make that thing taste good, hopefully. Like it. I think it will. Okay. We're almost there, guys. We're almost there. Really, you want to come help me with the plate? Yes. Awesome. So by now, the garlic is really nice and cooked in there. You can see that the string beans are taking on the, uh, the soy and the Worcestershire. They have a little salt and pepper, a little garlic on there, and that's it. Let's see, we're gonna do a little taste test. I'm gonna take one of these out. Ooh, that's hot. Drop that there for a second. Just blowing that. Mm. A tiny bit more salt, just a tiny bit. We got our three plates ready? We got our three plates ready. One for me and you, and all One the homies the watching. That's right. But the crunchiness is totally there. Awesome. So, I'm going to take this off. Turn off the oven. So, Mike? Mike? Having a little technical problems, guys? A little microphone problem? Is that better, Matt? Yeah. All right. So, here we go. Put a piece of fish on here. Mm. This is going to be a little crunchy fish. Yum. I like it crunchy. Yeah, me too. I don't like it when it's, you know, when it's soggy. You know, soggy. Yeah, exactly. We're going to do a little secret ingredient. Hey, Here, I like why don't you, it. Here, why don't you just drizzle a little bit on top of each one. All right. Yeah. That's going to give it's it a little nice pretty. flavor. Ooh. Okay. 
You do that very well, Lily. Oh, thanks. So you've had practice. <laughs> I've been with practicing. The, you've been practicing with Thousand Island dressing. Oh yeah. Okay, now we're just going to throw some string beans on there. Woohoo! Nice color, nice mm. texture on those. If you have a, if you have any leftover lemon in your fridge, guys. Wow, what was that? <laughs> if you have any leftover lemon in your fridge, guys, you just pop a little lemon on there. Mm. If you don't, don't do it. And we just, uh, we're ready to go. Let's get some utensils awesome. out here. This looks delicious. Well, as always, you're going to put us to the test, right? With the spoon. With the spoon. We, we just roll with what we have here, guys. <laughs> um, so Lily's here to prove that, you know, single chef actually knows how to cook, so we're going to give this a taste test. And just so you can see there, guys, I'm going to show, uh, show you in camera here that just how, you know, there's flaky white. It's nice and white, which means it's nice and cooked in the middle there. I don't know if you can see that, but there you go. I know it's very hot, so it's be hot. careful. A little, little uh, cool down there. Mmm. Mmm. This is really good. Came out all right. Yeah. It's delicious. Did you try the string beans yet? No. Here, try That's it. my next bite. Go for it. Mm-hmm. We're hot. Yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. Sorry to burn your mm -hmm. mouth, but it's really good. We're in time. We have, you know, we have issues with time, mm -hmm. so we gotta, we gotta do what we can. But, but the fish came out good. Mm-hmm. I gotta say, guys, fish came out really good. You just saw that three to four minutes on uh, at tops, two to three minutes on each side. You get a nice crispy brown there. The texture is really crunchy. The inside is so flaky. Tilapia fillets with string beans sautéed, and that's it. So easy, and it's a great combination. It works well together. Mm-hmm. Anyways, thanks for joining us here on Single Chef for another episode. We'll see you next time, guys. Eat well.